A disease known as citrus greening has devastated farms across Florida. Now, Sun Coast Congressman Vern Buchanan says the Department of Agriculture will be dedicating $13.6 million to search for a cure. ABC 7's Kate Flexter takes a look at the potential impact for our local economy. Here at Mixon Farms, they've seen the damage that citrus greening can do in just a short amount of time. And they hope this is a first step to stopping the disease and saving the citrus industry. So how old are these trees right here? Ones we see right here are anywhere from five, six years old. Six years ago, Dean Mixon had trees in his orange grove dating back to the 1800s. Today, his oldest tree is 12 years old. That's because they all died from the devastating disease known as citrus greening. It was very frustrating. Uh, we, we sold off some of the land uh, because we were losing so many trees. From 2005 to 2014, citrus greening alone caused Florida orange production to drop by more than half, according to the University of Florida's Institute of Food and Agriculture. The disease spread by insects originated on foreign soil, and the Mixons have advocated in Washington, D.C. for stricter regulations on imports. I always say that it's illegal immigration of insects and then we are we are stuck with it. More than a decade after it was discovered in Florida, there's still no cure for infected trees. Now, though, Congressman Vern Buchanan announced millions of dollars in federal funds that will go to finding a cure, something he says is vital to maintaining a strong economy and protecting jobs here in southwest Florida. It's critically important to the health of our economy here in Manatee County. Jackie Dazelski of Manatee County's Chamber of Commerce says Manatee County ranks 10th among Florida counties for citrus acreage. Not only the harvesting of that fruit, but also the processing of that fruit um, creates jobs and, and really improves our economy locally. But the Mixons worry it could be too little too late. In the meantime, more and more farmers are closing the doors and leaving their, their crops. And so we need it now. The Mixons say they've reached out to Congressman Vern Buchanan and hope to work with him moving forward. For now in Bradenton, Kate Flexter, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.